Good evening, everyone. Derek Christians with Campus Waterfowl. And this weekend for our Collegiate Waterfowl Tour, I am in Lincoln, Nebraska at UNL. And it's funny because as I was pulling up, it's about, I don't know, I got here around quarter to seven here. And as I'm pulling up, I see Sean, the guy I've been talking to all week. Uh, he's pouring, making lead weights. So I figured, well, what a great opportunity to show you guys for him to tell you guys how to make lead weights so this will kind of be just a short video of him explaining what he's doing uh, how's he's doing it where you can kind of get the materials if you guys are uh, interested in doing this yourself um, but then should be a good weekend uh, this tomorrow well, tomorrow morning we're going gonna hit some public land and we're gonna go after some teal and then I think we're gonna do the same thing Sunday so we got a couple couple more videos coming at you uh, this weekend so it should be a good time if you guys are new here make sure you guys subscribe I know 91.7 percent of you guys are not subscribed so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button I'm gonna turn it over to Sean now and he's gonna explain how he's kind of making these Texas rigs and these lead weights hey guys how's it going well today we are making egg weights um, we got our pour pot here we got a mold it's got several different sizes we're doing three ounces um, for hunting teal so that's what we plan on doing tomorrow just doing a little prep work. Got these uh, tire weights that we got from local tire shops. They get a bunch of them from changing tires all the time and that kind of thing. And so we're melting them down and actually making our own weights. It's a cheap college way of doing things. So, you know, everyone likes that. But you got to be careful which weights you use. Some of these weights won't melt. Um, when they're not melting, that just means they're not lead. So something you always got to be watching out for but and will that like harm or like be bad for your weight or something or I'll... they just won't melt so like you can see this one right here so they'll kind of just sit at the top or something yep so it's been in there for a little while with the other ones the other ones are all falling apart that one there's still solid okay so it's a different alloy um different metal so it's just not doesn't have the same melting point Lead's got a super low melting point, which makes it pretty easy to do this stuff with. But so you're just kind of scooping all the, the bad stuff. Yep, yeah, all the gunk and then all this stuff like that. It's all your impurities and and dirt and grime. So just take an old spoon. Don't take your mom's spoon. Use hers, but <laughs> just something you don't really care about. Scoop it out. Throw it in a tin can. You want to have that like glass, mm -hmm. nice and, and shiny. And that didn't even take long for those those one lead ones to actually break down. Nope. So here's another one. You can kind of see the progression of it. So then, where where can you get like just one of the, I guess that the thing to melt the the lead? Um, believe we got this from Cabela's. Um, a lot of fishing places, guys pour their own jigs and that kind of stuff. So you can get them about anywhere, um, online, that kind of thing. Same with these molds. Um, do it molds is the way to go with them. Mm -hmm. They've got all different sizes, all different shapes. Um, not just the egg sinkers. They've got bank sinkers. They have all of really? everything. Uh, we've got a few different ones over here. Got a wrap around decoy anchor. Oh yeah. Kind of like that. Nice. And we have some bigger egg weights. Be your six and eight ounce mm -hmm. sizes. You guys ever sell these weights, Stellar Hunters, or anything like that? Um, I haven't. You haven't? No, I've just done it myself and saved a buck or two here and there. So. So still, it's kind of just cleaning off the top. Somewhere. Yep. So that gunk, if you get it out quick, it'll come right off your spoon. Are we going to be using these tomorrow morning? Yeah, that's Sweet. the plan. So we'll rig them up as Texas rigs and and hunt them. So we're doing the cords around about four foot, just because we're hunting shallower water. It's not like we need a bunch of depth for it sure. so one thing i will say i like to oil these this is uh for your 
hole in the weight for does, your line to go through. Does that come with like when you purchase yep. the, the molds? Yep, it okay. does come with the mold. So it's all inclusive there. But you recommend oiling those? Yep, the we take, I'll show you here. Just take some motor oil, put it in a bottle or something, and then squeeze it up, get okay. fully covered with it. Drain your excess off. And then you can put it right back in. Got a little drip of oil in there. You can see the coloration. So yep, yeah, that what the oil does is it allows this to pull out a whole lot easier rather mm -hmm. than getting stuck and and then it's a pain to get it out. So this is decently full at this point, so we can go ahead and pull our pour our first one with it. I want to do this nice and steady is a key. And don't stop once you start. Otherwise you'll end up with a partially done mold. Mm -hmm. So as you see, it sets up pretty quick. Twist this around a couple times. Make sure your hole's all wallered out and your decoy line will go through. Mm -hmm. There you have it. Perfect. And then you just, just kind of just drop it on the ground now and then. Yep. Use so the pliers. Get it to pop out. Let it cool a little bit, but it doesn't take too long to cool. Nope, but it doesn't. You say it by the time you get get one pour, go to the next. Yeah, you don't want to rush it. Kind of do every other one, and then you can just take your your excess off and pinch it and pop it right off. No, and then you'll put just use that, throw that other stuff back in there. Yep, put it right back in the pour pot, and and then there you have it, folks. Homemade home made egg weight. Yep. <laughs> Good old Texas rigging. So how many are you making tonight? We're going to do two dozen. Two dozen? Yeah. Yep. And then we'll call it a night, go get some uh, some food, and get ready to hunt in the morning. Perfect. Sounds like a great time. Just getting these Texas rigs made, getting the decoys all rigged up. So if you guys want, you can introduce yourselves. Hey, I'm Sean McVeigh. I go to UNL here doing construction management, and I'm a super senior. I'm um, Craig Cohns. I am a senior biological systems engineering student here at UNL. Uh, yeah, okay. so I've, been, I've been duck hunting for four or five years now. So, and this is what your second year? This will be, yeah, probably my second year. Maybe like my fourth or fifth hunt is all. So, yeah. so yeah, pretty new to it. Got some fresh blood. Mm -hmm. Learning the ropes. Yeah, you're learning everything. You're learning how to make your own wakes, your own Texas rigs. Yeah. Rigging the decoys, yeah. Talking decoys. It's, uh, it's a good learning experience, I guess. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I'll be able to kill some on my own someday. But. <laughs> Learn from the best. Until then, I'll, until then I'll follow this guy around. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> I can kill a bird, too. Yeah. That's about it. And then you said we got about six other, well, six total people tomorrow, right? Yep, that's the plan. So, all right. So we'll have uh, another UNL kid and then an older guy that'll hunt with us tomorrow too. Perfect, perfect. So should be a good time. Sweet. Mm -hmm. yeah. As long as we find some birds, that's that's the key. We don't have a whole lot of birds right here with the cold front coming through, but we'll uh, we'll give her the old college try. There you go. That's all you can do. All right, everybody, on our way to Canes. Oh, you did. We gotta grab some food. You got it? Alright, here we are. Classic <laughs> for for UNL students. About the only good food that's open after midnight other than the Highway Diner. No, Highway Diner oh, we're going to have well, to yeah, Highway. Highway Diner. Pre-COVID. What was the other place diner. you guys said that is a must-go-to? Brenza. Brenza? Brenza. Brenza. Yeah. Okay. If you're in yep. Nebraska, you get it. When in Nebraska, okay. Well, we're gonna try that this weekend too. So, first time with Kane, so it's good food. Enjoy it. I'm a big chicken guy, so we'll see how it is. See if it compares to Popeyes and KFC and Chick. 
Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A. So. It's better than Chick Fil A. Oh, yeah. Sandwiches, Chick Fil A is better. Well, yeah. I mean, if you're, if you're getting, getting sandwiches, strips, yeah, but if you're getting strips, you gotta go to Canes. Canes. But if you're getting a sandwich, the, the it's chick, definitely Chick Fil A Chick-fil-A sauce is better. Chicken. But the chicken itself. Do they have a special sauce here? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I should kind of know the recipe. <laughs> Do you? The DIY. Yeah, it's like ketchup, mayo, Worcestershire, and like pepper. And I like want to see. I want to see you things. recreate it. Yeah. Dude, I was like 15 when I was working. I'll give Wolves. you five bucks. No. I'll try. <laughs> That's where it's on. Five bucks. Yeah. <laughs> and then for one of those, could we get no coleslaw, extra toast? Actually, sandwiches overrated. And then, sandwiches. Yeah. Yeah. Sandwiches just both of those. It's not worth no. it. So go with Sorry. Would you like one extra toast combo. for both a of the Caniac? Yeah. The both of sweet teas, anything else? Uh, Gives no, you that's leftovers. it. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, so your first order is 1271, and your second one is 2542 at your first window. Thank you. Well, we need we one got, more order. We got one more. Okay. Caniac. Let's go with Caniac. Caniac. Uh, Caniac combo. You said extra bread? A Caniac in the drink. Sweet, sweet, tea. Drink. Sweet, sweet tea. Sweet tea, light ice. Sweet tea, easy ice, anything else? And cold, you said extra bread? Uh, how good is a coleslaw? It's, it's good. good. Okay, I'll get, I'll get coleslaw, yeah. All right, that'll be it. Okay, that one's twelve seventy. It's too first stressful. One, no, thank you. Thank first you. time, first time. <laughs> uh, I should have asked for light ice on ours. Yeah, yeah. you fucked uh, up. Yeah, yeah. Dude, hey, we'll just light up Oh boy, here we go. Food time. I'll try both of them and see which one I want.